And because the bond was never formed, when she wanted to rekindle a relationship with me, I was disinterested. What's good, y'all? I'm not in Apple Time. I'm 50 deep in a 100 deep chapter book of my life. Check back that way. For the rest of you, let's go. Yeah, I was disinterested. So forgiveness goes both ways. Oh, damn. Forgiveness this way means I need to forgive to release those feelings that do not serve my higher good. But when someone wants to forgive you, they have to be ready for you to be in a position where you do not accept their forgiveness. Or you accept it, but you don't need it. I don't know how to word it, but pretty much I don't care if my grandmother forgives me because there's no relationship that was ever established to rekindle. Us having a relationship looks exactly like us having a relationship. So why change it now? And then when my grandfather dies and my aunt's like, write something nice on his obituary, I'm like, he was a great man. <laughs> like, what you want me to say? But I said on it and I was like, that's your grandpa. You ain't got nothing on him. And then I remembered the reason why I'm in Arizona. It's because my grandfather paid for my plane ticket to fly me to Arizona, to my understanding. He had late. He was at least a part of the plan that rescued me. He was at least the person who drove me to the airport. He was an intricate part in me sitting in this bathroom recording this echoey ass video. And for that, I am thankful. And so I was later able to go back and say what I just told you. When my grandfather left this earth, never having a relationship with me. My grandmother will potentially leave this earth, never having a relationship with me. And we can assume that she wanted to have a relationship with me because she sent me a friend request. And having a relationship with someone isn't calling them up when you need something. Every time Dre's phone rings, we know it's somebody asking him for something. But that's not a relationship. But out of respect, he does the things that someone in his position would do for the person who's asking. But I don't respect shit, so the bank that Dre is shutting down. It's been shut down, but it's about to shut, shut, shut down. Shut down, shut down. The bank that Dre is shut down. Anyway, this is the last video, hopefully. I'm talking about Linda now. When my mom died, she had a best friend named Linda. Linda was an angel to my mother and to her daughter. Wow. Me and my mom shared the same angel. Why do I always want to shh something? Shh is that? Oh yeah, ain't that dope? Me and my mom shared the same angel because Miss Linda was an angel. If it wasn't for Linda, my mom would have been alone. My mom wouldn't have had no rise to chemotherapy. My mom wouldn't have had, I mean, she had her sisters and stuff, but Linda was building bonds, and they were good bonds. My mom wouldn't have had a friend if it wasn't for Linda. So I was there so she wasn't physically alone. Linda was there so she wasn't emotionally alone, because my mom lived a lonely life. So Linda was an earth angel for my mother. And then Linda became an earth angel for me and my girls because Linda is a thrifter for a profession. When I get money, one of the people I'm going to take care of is Linda. But she's a thrifter. She goes and collects things and sells them secondhand at the thrift shop. So she is a professional thrifter or whatever the hell. And I'm a professional giver away. -er. Every house that I've lost, and I've lost two, three. I've lost three, but prior to this, I had lost two. I just gave it all away. And the stuff that I did sell, I sold for pennies because I have a giving spirit and I just didn't want to deal with the hassle of trying to sell something, just take it. But here comes Miss Linda. Mind you, I got $500 if that in my pocket. I don't know if I can tell y'all the ins and outs of this story because I don't know the statutes of limitations, but just know God opened doors financially that I knew that there's a beginning and an end to life because my mom, the whole time I was there, she was like, I need to renew my P.O. box. I need to renew my P.O. box. And she never got around to it. 
because her P.O. box expired September 31st. And she was like, she was, it was on her mind. I need to redo my P.O. box. I need to redo my P.O. box. But she had her stroke on like September 13th. And so that's when I knew there's a beginning and an end because her P.O. box ended in September. And she didn't need to renew her P.O. box because she went into the hospital in September. So even though we think we need to do something when we procrastinate, it's because we know we don't until we do. But that's the message in the message. I'll be back.